How's it going? This is our own little version of Trail Talk, inspired by Mirage and Steve doing the PCT right now. We got Cameron Riley here with us. Just made it up on top of this first hill here. You can see, looking south out towards where uh, where Fillmore's supposed to be. Of course, it's not there anymore. Just the gold, hills. The golden hill in the way out there is Oak Mountain, which is right, right above the F. Fillmore. Oak Mountain. Sankai Tano. Back into this. Some nice clouds dancing around up there. Really green back here. Pretty stoked about that. We'll be heading this way. Be at Cow Spring in about another 10 15 minutes. E vitamins, you heard it oh, first it's here, folks. <laughs> it's only 18 servings, I was misinformed. We're here at Alder Creek Camp. Ugh, making some water. <sighs> making water. Purifying water. Some electrolytes. We got our electrolytes here. Some uh, scrumptious granola. granola. This is the camp here. Right on the creek, as you can see. Quite a nice place. The first time I was here was three years ago with me and Gabriel Vila camped here. Ugh. We went here on the first night because Gabe. the gate was closed. For he is no, no longer with us. He's in another sense. place. Doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, I don't know what I'm talking about. That. That's not as strong. It needs to be stronger. Always take from running water. Two iodine tablets per quart or liter quart and liter are the same thing. Leave open for two minutes. Let sit for 30 minutes before drinking. And then you have pure water. We're here on this ridge observing over Sespi. The Sespi runs south. And it also runs north. It also runs east and west. And upward and downward. Inside and out. Within us all. The thing about the trails on the map is I feel like they don't count for like the switchbacks and everything where you go back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, I don't like think so either. Like the, it's just the distance from one place to the other. So it's how I feel.
I think I got service for a little. My phone just went bananas. Yeah, I don't know what it's doing. Morale is very high. We've just turned north towards the hot springs. You can see the peak up in the distance here. Oh. Ah. San Rafael Peak. We'll travel north for a few more miles make camp.
just found a tent. Let's go check it out. Yes, River. Yes. Oh. Never did River make more. Cooking up some water here. Gonna get the food going pretty soon. Switched camps. We used to be right over there. Now we're right here because there's water over there. There's water over there. Cam Bam's down for a little nap. We're gonna be sharing this tent. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like that's possible, but it'll be nice and cozy. It's probably. 3.30? 3.30? It's like 5. Um, sun's gonna set pretty soon here. Patience is a virtue, everybody. We're gonna get the fire going as well pretty soon here, so... morning of day two. You can tell the, the water's hot because, because it's steaming. <laughs> it's pretty amazing actually. It's nature's jacuzzi. We're heading up to check on that other camp again. to make sure that they're not dead. in the same place.
Okay, so this is just for documentation only. I don't mean to, uh, whatever, make this, uh, like a super public thing. I mean, I'm not gonna like, put this on YouTube or anything, but we went back to check out that other camp before heading out just to make sure that no one was like dead inside and everything was exactly in the same spot as it was last night when we checked it out for the first time. None of the packs had been moved. Um, the tent was in the same position. Uh, so we yelled hello a few more times. We asked if anyone was in there. And then I opened the tent and there are two sleeping bags in there. Two sleeping pads. Looks like a camp for two, of course. And, uh, let's see, which oh, was this way? And there was a pair of shoes uh, right there inside the fly, as if someone had taken them off to go to bed or something. Sleeping bags were opened, so there's no one in there. And we opened up the packs and we found we found some identification and there's an upside down bowl in the middle of the camp with some rotten avocados and so that's a really good sign that everything's been there for at least a few days so me and Cameron are thinking about hiking out to the Ojai side go to the ranger station and tell them what we found so, here's the camp, here's the tent, it's rotten avocados, tea, um, it's two, two women, and uh, yeah, there's, there's nobody in here, as you can tell, sticky pads, everything. So, here's just a bunch of trash. Food is kind of, looks kind of old. So, um, I don't know what we're gonna do yet. We're gonna have to do some serious discussing and uh, decision making about basically whether to abandon the rest of our trip and just hike out to report this. The documentation, I got some pictures on the GoPro of their IDs, so um, I'll have to hook it up to a computer somewhere, or actually, let me check if my phone is running, uh, but one of the women is from San Jose, the other from San Francisco. The San Francisco one, um, her ID now says Los Angeles. Uh, Cameron and I have decided to find our way over to Ojai um, and try and catch a ranger somewhere out there. We're heading towards the uh, Piedra Blanca trailhead. So that'll take us due west probably for the better half of today. So, all right, let's see what happens. So we found a nuke. Nuclear bomb lodged into the ground from the 80s when they did nuclear testing in the Cespes. Looks like a nuke landed here stuck itself into the ground and did not go off. Yes. I think we should get out of here. One fair touch with the stroke of my hand, it will blow up. I think we should get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back at the sign here, and now we've come down from the hot springs. It's time to head west, right. down the ravine. Actually, we'll be along the top of the ravine, according to the map. All right, west to the sea. Yeah, it's pretty beautiful. Where? Oh, down there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That's like a lake down there. 
I'm gonna see if I can extend the camera to get a better look at it. All right, camera. Oh boy, <laughs> look at that. This is a part of the Cespi that we must return to. That's incredible. I'm coming. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool, dude. What? Of the rock? Yeah. I thought there was like a snake or something. Yeah, that's for sure. My lifetime. Oh, I see it. It's, it's taken off. It's taken off? Yeah. No rattle. What it color was, was it? It was tiny. Uh, it was gray. It was like a dark brown with um, diamonds on its back. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a light brown with dark brown stripes. Still. <laughs> back of Santa Paula Ridge. We're here in the kingdom of Rohan. Theoden's men are nowhere to be seen. 
We've been tracking the Rohirrim for six days. No sign of any progress yet. A hobbit lay here. Aye. A hobbit lay here. A hobbit lay here. The bind were cut. They got 100 feet away from the battle. I'm going to start doing that with the flowers that we see. Add them to the video. All the way down there? Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Oh. Coming this way. It's coming this way, yeah. I say we book it. Huh? I say we run. No, we're not gonna run past it. It's right there behind the rocks. I say we run, dude. You ready? No, no. It's it's pretty good in back there. Just 
throw a rock at it or something. Keep our distance. I say we run. I really think we should just plenty of distance here. But we gotta both go. Because we might. Okay, you ready? It's it's over there. It's over there. Go. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. You good? Put the safety back on Dang. Okay. Yeah, a little excitement there. <laughs>